I also thought that it would be nice to show you guys how I tuck in my serger in threads. So I'm using this little tool here. And I'm just going to crochet it through. Just like that. So now what I would do after I'm done is just fold it over, use this as my seam line, and just stitch all the way around. And again, this is the bow that goes into the front of the dress. I completely forgot to record this step, so I would so basically what I did was folded this over about a quarter of an inch and stitched the straight line, and then I folded it over like this and stitched the straight line all the way down and around, and then I flipped it out like that, and it folded it over automatically for me but i just pressed it and then stitched the line going all the way around and this is the vesti that sits in the center where the uh, little cut is in the front of the dress So um, I did go ahead and search the edges of my neck band, I mean my neck facing, so that um, it'll have a clean finish on the inside, even though it won't be seen. I should have searched this as well, but I didn't. Um, so to understitch, you would take this piece and sew across this piece right here. So when you flip it over, you will have a line going across here all the way around and then when you fold it over and press it on the inside it'll be like this but you'll have a better view once I'm done this is what I mean you will sew on the outside well inside but outside I like to sew on this side because I can see um, how close the stitch line is from 
the seam line. Um, I know some people do it the other way, but I just prefer it this way. Okay, as you can see, those little marks right there. I was trying to get them to look like little dots, but I have no idea how to get it to be, a, be smaller than that. Oh. But hopefully once the sleeves are far away, you won't be able to tell. Well, I know you won't be able to tell if you're at a distance, but hopefully nobody is looking that close anyway. Okay, so this is my sleeve. I have prepped it so that I can start my blind hem. I pressed it at one inch and fold it over so it can sew across here. And I'll do the same thing with this one. I just wanted you guys to see how it's folded over. So you fold it over. And it'll just sew across there. Or however you do yours, but that's what I'm gonna do. Just sew it up, I mean fold it over so it can stitch right across there. And then the little marks will go here. I think they're like a half an inch apart, but you will see in a minute. So as you can see, it's inside of that little groove right there the edge of the fabric where it's going to be sewing it is up against that little part right there so it'll sew four times and then it'll hop over here 